Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, whoever the fuck you are. It's me, Sacred G. Nice to see you all again. Hope you all are doing good. Or okay. I mean, I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trend happening right now for Starfield since the new DLC came out that I just want to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into the fucking video. Oh my god. I am not the least bit surprised. No, not at all. So apparently Bethesda's dead now. I don't know if you guys have heard, but Bethesda's dead. Somebody shot them in the head. Supposedly. Because, well, some that someone was a little unhinged about a DLC, drove by their place, and shot him in the head. Point being, these people were so disappointed, their expectations were out the roof. We've seen this before the game came out. People were expe expecting it to be a No Man's Sky type of game. And of course, it's getting shot on too, as it, you know, was before release and also after, but whatever. You know, people were expecting it to be these other games for some reason, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I don't give a shit about Star Citizen nor No Man's Sky. Anywho, I don't know how people thought, you know, two different devs or both devs were going to come and make this one game. Just doesn't make sense because that's what it looks like when you think this way. And, well, here we are now. So the DLC dropped literally a week ago as of recording this video. And I played through it. I, I made sure I played through the fucking thing before I looked and saw what people were saying on YouTube about it. Right? So I enjoyed it. Actually, it changed my expectations around faster than I could snap. It, the funniest thing is, I was kind of disappointed with what I heard it was going to be about when all this information, or deep information about the DLC, what it was going to be about, all that stuff came out. I was pretty disappointed because I had no interest in the Vroon Zalot, so I, uh, months prior to that, I did, I want to say pre-ordered it, but, uh, it's not. I got the, uh, season pass upgrade that was like 20, 10 bucks, I, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that and when i heard about it i was a bit disappointed but as i played it i actually respect what they did and i like it actually not as much as the base game but i like it fair enough i would say it's the base game sidekick until the other expansions come out but people are pissed people are mad and they're free to have their opinions you know i'm not going to sit here and say that you can't dislike it that's not the point it's the videos that come out that say Bethesda's apparently dead that just irks me because it's not true. The fact you're even bringing up the DLC and Starfield at all, even if it's negative, it's still fucking attention. And did, did the day before get this at much attention? Well, when, you know, it came to be that the game was a fucking scam, it did. But that after that, months down the road, or months later... No, I don't see as many people talking about that as I do with Starfield. And that's how you know these people just hating. They hating. Fuck, some ordinary gamers, his video was so piss poorly done in my opinion that I didn't learn fucking anything from his video. Oh, Star Citizen. Uh, uh, that game did better. Uh, No Man's Sky, that game did better. And then for some reason, Cyberpunk gets thrown into the mix. And it was about the DLC, none of those other games. So apparently they made their way into a video that wasn't even about them. As typical as these fucking stupid critics go. And apparently, uh, like, I, I just, I forgot what he even said about the DLC, man. I mean, if you're gonna throw in that much conjecture into your fucking video that just doesn't make any any sense and that doesn't just go for him he's not the only one then <laughs> dude that's a fucking dumb take it doesn't make sense i don't give a fuck about star citizen i don't give a fuck about no man's sky i don't i love cyberpunk i don't even want to shit on it because with these types of videos i just get this energy that i have to do the same thing they do so i get my point across which I'm not going to do. I like Cyberpunk and Starfield. I recently started playing it a little bit ago. Um, and got further than I ever did when it first came out, you know? <laughs> but anywho, the point is with his video, I just don't understand what Cyberpunk's new update had anything to fucking do with... Or Cyberpunk at all. had Or Star Citizen, No Man's Sky, the other games that these fucking idiots like to bring up. I don't understand at all why that makes sense these are different games that they, like they're different developers and there's another video of course you, as dumb as these people can get sometimes somebody again thinks the steam player numbers mean anything for a single player game first of all and second of all thinks it speaks for the consoles as well what 
fucking idiot would believe? <laughs> it was Vera Dark, by the way, who I saw do this. It's a stupid thing to do. It says Steam player numbers, not Xbox. Starfield's on two platforms, sweetie. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, oh, Steam. Steam actually is code for Xbox 2. Not the Xbox 2, but it's also a code for Xbox, apparently. And PlayStation, supposedly, because I've seen people try to pull that. Dumb. Steam speaks for it fucking self. So, is Bethesda actually dead? No, because people are going to start talking about the Shattered Space DLC. And the craziest take are from both of these people that they said, I don't know if Muda said this, so I think it was more of Vera Dark that said this. Uh, she said something, oh, I didn't know this DLC was coming out, even though it was announced several months ago. I think back in fucking summer. And I've seen nothing but videos talking about it. Oh, I didn't know the DLC was coming out, even though I'm a YouTuber. And you get recommended videos, even if you're going to upload one and not watch a video. So you prob these people probably saw people talking about it. People have been talking about it for a while. It's all summer long. So why are you sitting here telling us, Oh, we, I didn't, I didn't hear anything about it. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like, you didn't hear anything about it. Oh my god. It's not like it was on YouTube all summer long. Anywho. <laughs> if they genuinely did not like the DLC, that's fine. That's not the point. My point is, there's a bit of stupidity mixed in with this, okay? It's not proper criticism. It's just shitting on it. Oh yeah, and I wanted to do a video on this separately. And I will. This has stuff to do with updates or Bethesda breaking mods. And, oh man, I want to actually spoil it. I'm just going to say it. Bethesda does not break mods, ladies and gentlemen. The game literally warns you when you click on creations or the mods tab, it will say you can play with creations or mods at your own fucking risk. They are not responsible for that piece of content. They are literally responsible for the fucking base game and whatever expansions come after. They are not responsible for your mods because she made an indirect correlation. She was playing with mods and apparently that broke her game. She didn't directly say it, but I had, I have a feeling you were playing with mods because I have unmodded saves that didn't break. Anywho, I'm sorry. I had to get this out, dude. This is just new. I recently stumbled upon this yesterday, so why not just get it out and move the fuck on? Thank you all for watching and listening. I hope you all enjoyed the DLC, and if not, explain your reasons. I've had my fair share of issues with the DLC. I think one of the biggest ones is performance. It was actually piss poor. <laughs> Uh, but anywho, catch you on the next video. Stay safe. Love you all. Peace the fuck out and uh, goodbye.